Welcome to another video in my series on centers of mass. Now in this video what we're going to look at is how we find the center of mass of a uniform lamina when a shape is removed from it. And to do this what we do is we say that the moment of the lamina that we see here about say two axes, an x and a y axis, is exactly the same as the moment of the whole rectangle, as if this it was filled in, minus the moment of the circle, because we are removing it. Anyway, I'll show you in more detail now how it works. So, first of all, what we need to do is set up some axes that we're going to take moments about. And in this example, I'm going to take them along here. We'll have this then as the x-axis, and we'll have up on this edge the y-axis. Now, obviously, it doesn't matter where you place your axis, but I always tend to select the outer edge. And then you can work out various measurements when you found x-bar, y-bar for the center of mass from any of the other edges. OK, well the next step then is to put on the centre of mass of the rectangle here, as if it was filled in. And that would be in the middle. It would be somewhere, say, about here. And the coordinates of that point will be 5 units along, because you can see the length is 10. And because the width here is 7 units, it's going to be 3.5 units up. So I mark these coordinates in here as being 5 and 3.5 units up. And if we look now at the centre of mass for the circle, that's going to be situated in the middle here. And the coordinates of that point, well, it'll be 7 units along and 4 units up. So mark that coordinate in then as 7, 4. As for the centre of mass of the whole lamina that we want to work out, we're going to call it x bar, y bar. And we'll say that it's somewhere here. We'll just find a space over here, room to put it in. We'll call that point C, where all the mass is acting. And it's got coordinates then x bar, y bar. Now we need to find the individual masses of what is assumed to be, say, particles here, concentrated here and here. So if we were to say, in the usual way, let the mass per unit area equal some constant, and it's up to you what constant you use, I'm going to use m. So when it comes to working out the mass of the rectangular uniform lamina, then its area would be 10 by 7. 10 7 is 70. Multiply it by the m here, and you've got a mass here of 70m. We'll just put it just there, 70m. As for the circle, well, we've got to look at the area of the circle. It's got a radius of 2 centimeters, so area of a circle, pi r squared, so it's going to be pi times 2 squared, pi times 4, or simply 4 pi. So the mass of the circle would be 4 pi m. Now, as for the mass acting through the center of mass here, c, then we've got to not do the total of these two, but we've got to say 70 m minus the 4 pi m, because that's what we're removing. So for the mass then acting through c, we've got 70 minus 4 pi if I pull out m as a common factor. So we've got everything we need now to take moments about the x and y axis. And hopefully you're familiar with this from my earlier videos. What we do then is we say that the total mass, which is going to be 70 minus 4 pi m, let's just mark that in here, 70 minus 4 pi, bracket m, and if we take the moment of this about the x and y axis, it is multiplied by x bar, y bar. And that is equal to 
the moment of the whole rectangle as if it's filled in which will be 70 m the mass multiplied by the position vector 5 3.5 5 3.5 5, and now we are removing the circle so it's got to be minus and if there's any other shapes in problem you're doing that you need to remove obviously you would minus them so in this case it's minus 4 pi the mass of what would be that circle so put the m in 4 pi m and then multiply by 7 4 so 7 4 so all we need to do now is just simply work this out we've got 70 minus 4 pi multiplied by x bar y bar because all the m's cancel out might as well just cancel them out here okay and this equals and you just got to do 70 times 5 minus 4 pi times 7 and if you do that you'll find that you get 262.035 and so on and if you do 70 times 3.5 minus 4 pi times 4 you'll find you get 194.734 and so on so all we need to do now is just divide each of these values then by 70 minus 4 pi and that will give you x bar y bar so if you divide the top one by 70 minus 4 pi you should find you get 4.562 and so on and divide 194.734 by 70 minus 4 pi you end up with 3.390 and so on so as a coordinate rounded say to one decimal place x bar y bar turns out to be 4.6 and 3.4 both those values given to one decimal place so you can see then that it's roughly in the right position so I hope that's given you an idea then how to do problems where we remove particular shapes from a lamina instead of adding the masses on we end up subtracting the masses and then ending up subtracting the moments okay